you know, NFL defense towards a college football for my junior and senior year. So it's kind of a lot of the same type of things. We do a lot of, you know, single high stuff and things like that and put our corners on put our corners on the island because we got great corners just like they do here. And I think it's a lot of the same verbiage, but just little, you know, little different words, but kind of the same verbiage. Is that you as the single high safety or? Uh, majority, majority of the time, but, you know, we kind of play size because we play in the Pac-12, so everything was so fast. We couldn't really, we couldn't really pick a, um, we couldn't really pick a true free safety or strong safety. It was so up-tempo, so we were just on size. <laughs> What's it like having Kenny Lawler? He went through this last year, so he's kind of the rabbit in this whole camp. Yeah. He's throwing, throwing an experienced guy at you. Uh, how much does that mean to you? What's that like? It means a lot, to be honest. I knew him before I, uh, I got here. I played him my sophomore year at Cal, and one of my best friends, Marquise Mosley, went to high school with Ken Kenny, and we call him K-Law. So I already knew who he was, and we already were talking. So just having him, him here and being able to talk to him about certain things like that is just a blessing. Seems like... All these DBs that got drafted this year, you guys seem to already be kind of forming a bond. You're getting to know those guys pretty well. Yeah, we're getting to know, you know, everybody on not just the defensive side, but the guys that are on the offensive side too. But with the DBs, we just try to, you know, push ourselves just like Coach Carroll and the rest of the coaching staff and the rest of our teammates are trying to do. We're just trying to find that bond for ourselves. What's your first uh, impression of I think the biggest thing is how competitive, you know, the competitive nature they bring and how everything we do, we compete no matter what it is. And I think that's the biggest thing that we're just always going to compete and try to make each one of us better. What kind of reaction have you got to the, to the video your brother made at the draft day and, and all of that? Uh, I got a lot. Um, my brother been like doing videos and stuff like that since we were kids. He's always been a type of dancer. He's always been singing and stuff. So he's always made those type of videos. And I just got a lot of just a lot of different, you know, different reactions from it. To be honest, I didn't even realize the camera was right there. I was just kind of being myself. And, and um, you know, some guys, one of my close friends at Colorado texted me this morning and said he used it as motivation. You know, a lot of my family members, we laugh about it because I was crying and stuff like that. So it's just different emotions from everybody. Did you expect to be that emotional when that call came and everything? Or? I didn't really have any type of expe expectations, to be honest. Like, I didn't know, you know, I was, people were asking me how you going to feel when it happens. It's kind of surreal feeling, and you kind of just got to – I guess you can't really explain it until it, it really happens. But, you know, it was just a blessing from God, from Mr. Snyder and Coach Carroll and the rest of the coaching staff to believe in me. It was just a really big blessing. What do you think it was that got you that emotional at that moment? Um, just a blessing from God because since I've been playing football since I was about six or seven years old, you know, I kind of always took it serious. I felt like it was something that God, you know, gave me the ability to do just because I always wanted to do it. And just to see the joy on my mom's face, you know, raising – three kids and having her kids super young and raising us and to see how she raised her boys and her and her baby girl. It was just a blessing to see my mom happy and just see the excitement and joy on my family's face. He was talking about your ball skills all the plays you made in Colorado. Is that something you've kind of always had or that developed with time at Colorado? Um, I think kind of both, just growing up, playing the positions that I played and stuff like that. And when I got to Colorado, when Coach Levitt came, he kind of changed the way we approach practice, kind of the same way we have it here. So I think it was just a combination of my coaching and, you know, guys giving ability. How do you feel about the process of all this and then your particular form when you leave here? Do you, do you kind of, are you really analytical or when you leave here, do you just kind of let it all go and just come back next day? How do you when I leave the that? practice field? No, I'm always studying film and always asking questions like me and the DBs go back in the locker room, me and the guys on defense go back in the locker room and go over certain calls and stuff like that. So I'm steady looking at the playbook, steady asking questions and things like that for things that, things I don't understand. Are you hard on yourself to even out here I think everybody pretty much is, to be honest. I think I'm my biggest critic, just like I think a lot of people are to their self. So I say I'm pretty hard on myself. You mentioned having played single high at, at Colorado. Had any of your coaches or you personally ever watched any film of Earl Thomas or in the past years while you were at college? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because growing up in high school, I used to watch this film a lot when I kind of started getting recruited and trying to learn how to actually play football and learn a lot about defenses and just to see how he gets from one hash to one to another, just to see how he leads his teammates, the passion he plays with on the field. So just not just him playing, like making plays and stuff like that, but you just see the excitement he brings to his teammates and things like that. So I've been watching him since I was probably like a freshman in high school or something like that. Have you had a chance to meet him or talk to him yet? Or no, I haven't. I haven't. Why was he a guy you wanted to watch the way back then? Exactly. Why was he a guy you wanted to watch the way back then? I think it's just what I just said, the way he like the way he just plays the game and you know how he gets to one hash to another and I think his effort, he has extremely good effort. You never see him jogging on the field, you never see him, you know, lagging on the field. He's always running the ball, giving hundred percent effort. Have you talked to Seppo since draft day and he's from up here? Yeah. You know, yeah, I talked to him I talked to him a little bit. Um 
he congratulated me when things happened. I congratulated him, and we just kind of wished the best for each other. He was going through mini camp, and I texted him after that, and then pretty sure we'll talk. But we talk a lot, just like I talk to Cheeto all the time, talk to, you know, Samson and all those guys. Akello, I still talk to everybody. All right, Are you next, Cedric. One spot right we got now. Nas Jones coming up next. Thank you.